Hello, and today we're going to talk about the basics of power. And of course, we can't talk about the basics of power without first talking about generation of that power from the power company. And it's generated in three different phases that are 120 degrees apart from each other. And this is a quick little diagram of here of what it would look like. We have phase one here, phase two, and of course, phase three, each 120 degrees apart from the other. Now when it reaches our house, um, the power company will typically land only one leg of that power to our homes. What's going to be most common is our 120 slash 240 volt three wire system, which is in most of our homes. And as you can see here, really what's coming into our homes is this 240 volts, but when we add the neutral, we can derive um, 120 volts out of that. Or you can have a larger power outlet, for example, for our dryers or uh, air conditioning units or maybe our uh, electric ovens or stoves. Um, you can go between the ends of the phase that's coming in and get your 240 volt outlets. Now what that looks like on your circuit breaker panel is see we have our single phase coming in here 240 volts between them and our neutral line here which is coming around on this uh, white bar here. So <clears throat> on each of these rows, we have certain rows of circuit breakers here and rows of circuit breakers here. And as you'll see, between the one end of the phase in neutral and the other end of the phase in neutral, these are all 120 volt lines. So these are typical power out outlets that you'll see on your walls and, and wherever else, anything that you can plug things into. And down here, you'll see something that is plugged into both a red and a black. Um, what this is here, this is going to be a 240 volt circuit breaker. So it's actually going between uh, both ends of the phase as opposed to one end of the phase and the neutral. So what this is here is probably a larger circuit breaker for uh, maybe a water heater, electric water heater, or an electric range, or an electric, um, some other large electric device in the house, maybe an electric dryer, something like that. But in the end, all these circuits are all on the same phase. When we get into three-phase systems in larger commercial facilities and industrial facilities, there's a couple of different configurations. There's 208, 120 volt, or there's 240 volt, three wire, or there's 480 slash 277 volt. A lot of these will depend on the application. Uh, some lighting systems or high-powered lighting systems for auditoriums may require uh, 277 volt, or certain machinery may require uh, 240 volt, something like that. So it really depends on the facility. And uh, there could be different types um, at different points in the facility as well. So when you see these diagrams in there and the voltages, when you look in a circuit breaker panel, you're going to want to pay attention to that. Uh, for example, this is what the insides of a, a circuit breaker panel of a three phase system looks like. And what's important to note is how the circuit breakers are laid out. Uh, so even if this is all covered up and you can't tell that, okay, you know, uh, these are the three different phases here, the black, red, and blue, and we have the black, red, and blue wires here tied to different circuit breakers, um, the blacks are all in the same phase, the reds are all on the same phase, and the blues are all on the same phase here. Uh, but if they were all covered up, and you knew that it was labeled a three-phase circuit breaker panel, what's important to know is that each similar phase is, is one of three. Uh, so they go in groups of three, rather. So, uh, for example, from the top, one phase, you know, second phase, third phase, and then it repeats again, first phase, second phase, third phase. So you know every third uh, circuit breaker is going to be on the same phase. And when you're designing your AV systems and powering them, you want to make sure that it's all getting power from the same phase. So if you need more than one 20 amp circuit, if you need more than one 15 amp circuit, and you're in a facility that has three phase power, you want to make sure that you know when you're uh, getting power off these circuits, that they're all in the same phase. And you can kind of tell that by making sure that it's, you know, um, let's say this one up top here was labeled Studio A, Studio B, Studio C. Studio A, Studio B, Studio C. You would want uh, Studio A to be one of every third. You, won't, well, you would not want Studio A, 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 B, 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 C, 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 because then each studio would have three different phases of power feeding those outlets. You would want to see you know, Studio A, Studio B, Studio C, 
Studio A, Studio B, Studio C. And if you're having any weird interference or maybe some digital sync problems, uh, that might be something to look at to make sure that the electrician wired all of the outlets in a given studio on the exact same phase of your specific room or studio. Now it's important to note too that the, the color coding is much different than uh, our low voltage wiring. Whereas low voltage wiring in our mic cables we'll, we'll see something like a, a red and a white and a ground or maybe a black, a white and a ground or maybe a red and a black and a ground or whatnot. It can kind of vary depending on the manufacturer, but when you're talking about power, uh, there really is a standard. And so it's important to note that the black is always going to be the hot. Uh, red is also hot and blue is also hot. Uh, so in a three-phase system, you will see black, red, and blue as being hot. However, in many homes, if you have three-way switches, uh, the red can also be a switched hot. And again, the white is always neutral. Green and bare copper are always going to be your safety ground. Now we all need to know some basic power terminology to move ahead. And in this case, we're going to show you a quick uh, little diagram here that uh, kind of summarizes every piece of the uh, power equation when it's uh, distributed through our homes or businesses um, in a nice little compact diagram here. So first we're going to start with the service entrance. And this simply refers to the place at which the power company delivers its main feed off of the power line or underground feeder line to your business or home, which is right here. Uh, in your home, typically this will be where your electric power meter is going to be so they can measure how much uh, electricity you're using on a monthly basis. Now going inside our building, the load side of service, this is our main panel board or distribution panel board, uh, also called a you know, main circuit breaker panel or whatnot. So in your home, this is where all of your circuit breakers are going to be. In a larger facility, you will have what's called a sub-panel, which is simply a smaller circuit breaker panel that is uh, fed off of the main distribution panel board by what are called feeder circuits. Now feeder circuits are different from branch circuits in that feeder circuits only connect between circuit breaker panels from the main to the sub-panel or sub-panels. There are no outlets in between there. And branch circuits come off of a sub-panel or the main distribution panel and go to user outlets. So outlets that you can actually plug devices into. Um, whereas again, feeder circuits do not have any connections that are user accessible. Now a technical power system is very important to our AV systems because what we want to do is isolate our AV systems or our computer systems or any other technical system from other uh, disturbing elements in our power system. So for example, uh, you've, maybe you've had, uh, you've experienced even in your dorms when someone turns on a vacuum or a blender or something else like that, a high powered device, you see like a, you know, the lights might dim momentarily or things like that. What we want to do is avoid that completely. We don't want any of these other devices in another part of our building or another room. We don't want any of those things to interfere with our sound system, especially our studio uh, recording system or anything else. So what we want to do is put our AV system here on a completely separate set of circuit breakers. And that's really, uh, in a nutshell, what a technical power system is. And we want to exclusively feed that off of one phase. Um, because <clears throat> when you start running off of three different phases, because of the phase differences, you know, the 120 degree difference between the multiple phases, um, sometimes digital equipment can have trouble syncing with other equipment uh, based on word clock sync because it's all derived off of the 60 hertz um, power frequency, right? But if they're 120 degrees apart, uh, one digital device may have a different sync from another digital device and you get what's called uh, you know, triplin harmonics interference between these sensitive devices as well. So long story short is we really want to have it fed only by one phase and we want it to be used exclusively by our AV equipment. So again, in a nutshell, it's just a separate set of circuits dedicated to our AV equipment. And breaking out of the nutshell, there are some other requirements uh, that are dictated uh, by the Giddings book. Uh, he summarizes it pretty well uh, by, of course, making sure that the power system is reliable. You, know, you don't want it 
to fail, so you may have a, what's called a UPS or uninterruptible power supply, a battery backup system basically. So if power goes out, you don't want it to fail. You want to have it be a seamless transition. Uh, maybe that means a generator backup as well. You want it to be clean, so you don't want there to be interference or noise from other sources into it. And of course, you want to have a distribution system designed which won't induce any hum or noise into the inter interconnecting cabling and equipment inputs. And this gets into uh, a technical grounding system, which we'll talk about in a separate video. But this uh, really is what we're talking about, the technical power system isolating our AV gear off of other circuits within a power system within your facility.